Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode from the Truly Bedrock Let's Play server. Oh man, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Hey man, uh, we got tons of work to do today, but we have to deal with some stuff that's happened. I haven't really been on the server. I didn't, wasn't really on the server all weekend long. It's Monday evening for me right now. Um, so like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was busy doing some projects around the house, namely trying to make macarons. Do you know what macarons are? Like those French little cookie things? They're really hard to make. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I made like four or five batches, four batches, I think. I need to make like four or five more this coming weekend, and maybe I'll post a picture. Um, I'll show you something. But anyway, that's what I was doing this weekend, and I know that's like a dumb excuse, but who would actually use that as an excuse if they didn't really do it? <laughs> who do you know that would be like, well, I was going to come over to see you this afternoon, but I was making macarons. Because if they say that, you got to believe them. Anyway, let's get in here and get to work. First of all, look, my wheat field is completely filled out. My carrot field is completely filled out. And the rest of these fields, nothing's been done with them because, because I was busy making macarons. But also, I have to go to spawn and go sneaking around and try to rob some beetroot seeds. And then I can't because I couldn't. Unless I was ready to record, because my good friend, at least I thought he was my good friend, Blue Jay, said, hey, the next time you go to Spawn Town, you got to be looking around because there's something over there for you. I don't know what that means, but we're going to go over there together, and I promise you, I haven't been over there to see it. So the reaction you're going to see is going to be whatever the reaction would be with whatever it is that uh, Blue Jay has done. But before we do that, we have one more piece of business to deal with, because somebody has been dropping stuff off at my base. <laughs> Why couldn't they drop off like a stack of diamonds or something, man? Let's take a little s fly down through here. This past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, was the stream weekend. Uh, Truly Bedrock stream weekend where we streamed all the weekend. Or people did. I didn't, but people did. And I guess during Mr. Beardstone's stream, there was some sh sh shenanigans. Now listen, I'm not a shenanigan shafanigan. That's for sure, because sometimes, man, shenanigans get yourself in trouble. But now, I have this in a boat named Pandawan. Yeah. Yeah, so this happened. Sorry, DC. It's a present from chat. Okay. Riven Gaming says, hi, Panda loves you, Mr. B. Well, I don't know who this Riven Gaming guy is, but man, he should next time be trying to get Mr. Beardstone to bring me some money or something. Not a dang panda. What am I going to do with a panda? Look, I saw this earlier. I came out of the thing, and I was thinking, hey, I could just delete these signs, and I could very carefully just break some glass, and the panda would go <laughs> down in the lava, and no one would even know. But man, I can't do that. It's a panda. Now... I've got another job to do around here when I'd already have like 50 million other jobs. I have to make a panda habitat because I can't get rid of him. I mean, that would be hardcore. There's some things you just can't do, right? I don't kill horses. I don't kill pandas. Uh, everything else is fair game. Maybe parrots. Well, parrots are janky. I don't like them. But, but horses and pandas, I mean, you can't just like burn them up in lava. So I guess thank you, Mr. Beardstone and uh, Riven Gaming. Yes. And welcome to my base, Pandawan. Pan, Pandawan. Okay, so there's that. That's really the only thing. Oh, I did oh, I did do a ton of mining uh, earlier before I started recording. And, like, I mean, like a ton of mining. These are all my mining goodies. I did get a stack and a half of diamonds, plus lots of redstone and all this kind of good stuff. We're going to bring that along with us. I think we're going to put that in here. I've also spent some time in the nether between the two episodes. And I have um, a bunch of blackstone, a shulker box full of blackstone. we got to take back over to... Um, the the uh, diamond tree and then a bunch of sand and i also have to find some gravel too do i have an empty shulker box maybe hmm i don't think so these are all filled with random pieces of junk no not that one is anyone like slightly empty i mean i guess technically we could probably switch that one out yeah we could do that let's take all of this 
Well, whatever. I'll do it in a second. I just want to bring like a shulker box full of gravel over there as well because I know that I sold some gravel. I know that we sold some blackstone. I think we also maybe stole some redstone. So we're going to take a look. I have a feeling that we're super rich and it's probably about time to increase the size of the diamond tree over there. So we've got to take care of that soon. Let me get myself together. I am going to go. I'll, I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to go into the spawn area because we got to see what Blue Jay did to us. I'm not I'm not dumb enough to believe that he actually gave us something. <laughs> he was like, make sure you're recording. <laughs> so we're going to have to go over there. So let me get myself together, get all my inventory squared away, and then I'll meet you back over there in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I got my inventory all loaded down with various odds and ends, getting ready to go to the shopping district and fill up some store stuff. But first, we got to go into the spawn chunks to see what old Blue Jay has left for us. Let's go see what we've got here. Let's go out of here. All right, we're certainly recording. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? <laughs> it's a crab. That's amazing. I love it so much. It's like Mr. Krabs. Hey, I'm not Mr. Krabs. Oh, man, I love it. You want to know why this is over here? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> now we got to do something. I was going to do something mean to Blue Jay, but this is actually kind of cool. I'm not upset about this at all. I kind of love it. So you know how like there's like this automatic caption thing uh, on YouTube? Like maybe if you don't speak English or you don't speak Dadcraft, you have to turn it on and see what I'm talking about. Um, but it like automatically listens to my voice and then makes like closed captions or whatever. Uh, or whatever. Uh... Every once in a while, it, it when I do my intro, it's it thinks I say dead crab, seventy three, instead of dad craft. So it, it thinks for whatever reason that I say dead crab. So on the truly bedrock Discord server, I have added, I've changed my name to dead crab seventy three, and I was messing around talking about that, and I guess Blue Jay decided to prank me by building a big old crab outside of the CCE building. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. I love it very much. <laughs> uh, I believe in it. I'm not going to tear it down. I was all set to be like, Raw, you dang kids. But now I'm just going to leave it. It looks amazing. It's Mr. Krabs. Dead crab. He's a lot. Well, his eyes are kind of jacked up, so who knows. Thank you, Blue Jay. I think, I think maybe we should go like. Well, I'm, this will be my thumbnail. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Dead Crab 73. Full effect. All right. We got to go find. Now that we're over here. Oh, there's stuff down there. I think that's Tiztone. <laughs> Has like the lowest build. Don't truly bedrock or something. I don't know. He's crazy. I got to find some that I can steal. We're not going to steal them. We're just going to harvest them. And we'll replant. We're not going to take anything from anybody. I have a little bit of bone meal. I'll even bone meal them back up for him. But I've got to find some beetroots. Because I need to have a beetroot field over at my base. There's got to be some around here, right? I've never even seen any beetroots. These are bushes. Is there any, like, just, like, stuck? That's nether wart. Okay. Beetroot. Beetroot. I guess I can... I don't really like to rummage through people's... What is this? Oh, Daphne. No, let's leave her stuff alone. I'm not going to try to steal anything from anybody. I mean, if it's already planted, I'm going to harvest some and then replant it and bone meal it back up. So it's not like I'm taking anything from anybody. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I have some beetroot seeds. I mean, I haven't... I guess we can. <laughs> like, that crab's amazing. I love it so much. Hello there, Buttercup. Buttercup, the slowest horse on the server. Let's go dig around in our chest and see if we have anything. Crops and food. Seeds. We have those kind of seeds. We have those. No. I don't think we have any. Hmm. 
Okay, I don't want to spend too much time. I just want to come over here and see what Blue Jay had done. I love it. It's amazing. Now I need to go running around some more and see if I can't find some beetroots. And then we're going to go over to the shopping district and actually do the thing that we were planning on doing today. Oh, man, we've already been recording for like 10 minutes. We've been messing around. We had to deal with pandas and dead crabs. Oh, man, I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Alright, we're over here at the shopping district. Man, we seem like we've been jumping around a little bit. I did find some beetroots. They were over at the Undead Village, not by, not too far from my house. I thought about that. I was like, hey, maybe they were over there. And sure enough, there was a whole, like, crop area over there. So I harvested them up, got 27 seeds, brought them back over, planted them, and now they're growing in the big farm fields, which we have to go over, or which I have to go over and work on in just a minute. But before we go in here and start seeing if we rake in any money, I want to look at this right here. This is Liar's new redstone sh shop. It looks so good. I love it. <laughs> Normally I don't like stuff that's made out of nether brick because it's kind of dark, but the way that she's got the accents on it, man, I'm down. I'm a hundred percent down. And then she's got all kinds of crazy stuff. Now listen, I may not agree with some of her prices, and the diamond tree would definitely be able to sell some of the same merchandise at lower prices. No question. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's go in here and see what we've got. Oh man, I like these guys. Invisible things. Holding things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Invis invisible armor stands, I guess. There's something you do with them. I don't know. Click on them with a carrot or something. Um, somebody knows. I don't. So anyway, uh, here's all the stuff. It's like observers. Let's see. Everything. One diamond is stacked. Hey, that seems like a very familiar business model. <laughs> than that over there. But let me see what we got here. Uh, so 16 observers for a diamond? Yeah. Oh, whatever this was is all sold out. Lanterns. This is... Uh, Sticky pistons. Yike. 12 pistons for a diamond? Ooh, okay. All right, Liars, man. She's out to get the... She's about to get the fat loots. That's for sure. Anyway, that's awesome. I love this store. It sort of makes the diamond tree look super janky now. Got this awesome store. We got Beardstone's fancy store over there. That's no, Um, But this is... Yeah, it looks so jet. We have to we have to do some upgrades here. Mm hmm Yeah, okay, let's go inside. Alright, let's see how we're doing. I mean, we have tons of materials. I'm not gonna do this on camera. We're just gonna go and see how many profits we end up with. Um I do have some gravel in my inventory. I'm gonna take this just so I have the room. I mean, not that I think we're gonna get that much stuff, but I just wanna do that and yeah, that's completely gone. Okay. Alright. So let me just take a look here and see. So Blackstone, we are completely out. Wow, we have to load this thing back up. But we should be able to. Not completely full, but a good run at it. Didn't sell any concrete. Didn't sell any... Oh, why don't we sell logs? Yeah, gravel. Sand is gone. Red stuff. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Man, that's we sold all of our redstone. I already know what happened here. I knew that we had sold this already. Because Liara told me that Zloy, trying to give her, her shop a little bit of a boost, bought out all the redstone over here hello oh <laughs> dang it don't be messing with my stuff man i tried to scam somebody yeah i gotta go like that and convert it back but i will all right anyway this is coal and lapis we didn't sell any of that i don't know why we don't ever sell that um warp blocks we never sell that either didn't sell that no glass no stone no nether brick okay but we did rake in 50 <laughs> And see if we add this to our already huge pile. That's a ton. Let's go over here and look and see if we have any money from our potion shop. We just filled that up the other day. So let's just go check that real quick. Fire resist. Night vision. Yeah, one diamond. So you keep that separate. Uh, one diamond from water breathing. Strength. This. We have to increase our potion supply. Now oh, we have so much work to do. It's a little out of control, if we, if I do so say, say so myself. All right. Oh, you know. Oh, hold. Uh, here, let's go here. I brought this over because people were calling me out about it. Now we'll go over here, and we'll stick ourselves a little bit of a ender chest inside the potion shop, just in case people may need it. Let's put it like right here. There, perfect. Okay, Ender Chest is in there now. Awesome. All right, now uh, we got so we got two diamonds. 
from our potion shop. Um, which, by the way, I need to pay one back over here. So this actually goes like this and like that. So 59 diamonds because I stole one diamond from our diamond tree materials <laughs> oh, to buy some golden carrots, which I'm currently eating so I'm over there at the food truck. Okay. So, all right. So now I've got my, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time getting my shop kind of put back together. I think um, in here are my other ones. Yeah, Blackstone Sand, stuff like that. So I'm going to get this all taken care of. Uh, then I'm going to head back over to my base. I'm going to start working on my field some more off camera just because, you know, that has to get done. And then we're going to do a little bit more work over there, I think. So let me work on some of this stuff, and I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. All right, I've been out here working on these fields, and I've got all of them except for this one over here completely planted and filled with different crops. So it's carrots, wheat... This is potatoes, this is netherwort, and beetroots over there. I mean, I think it looks pretty good, for sure. And I went through all the water spots in the ones that actually require water, um, not the uh, netherwort, but all the water ones, and I put in two spruce fences and then a lantern on top of it. Man, this thing looks pretty sweet at nighttime, that's for sure. Okay, so next up, though, one of you guys suggested, I think it's a really good idea, that we see if we can't find some bees, and if we can get some bees going around here, it'll pollinate this stuff and make it grow faster. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a tree there and see if we can't put a beehive in it. This isn't for like uh, growing purposes or anything, just a beehive, just a beehive right there and maybe one here. And then we'll see if we, if we can find two. I'm hoping we can. I've got, oh no, I've got to go make it. Let's go do that real quick. Let's go over here. Of course it's not there. I don't know where my crafting benches there's a crafting bench right there okay let's make ourselves a campfire all right got a campfire now we could go hunting for bees and see if we can't find some and then we can put the campfire down rake in the bees and then bring them back over here to the base we're hoping to find i might have to do a little bit of searching around to see if i can actually find two i know where one is let's go get that one together so if we head over through the plains, I want to say it's one of these. <laughs> I just said I knew. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? And I don't know if, how you can tell if there's bees in it. Okay. Is that another one over there? Maybe there is a couple. I don't know if they have bees in them. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's go here and put this like this, and then we'll break this. Okay, get the old smoker effect. Then we'll use silk touch, and we'll rake in the hive. Oh, what's getting me? Oh, the fire. Okay. Then we'll use silk touch to break it, and that should allow us to pick it up. All right, so hopefully this thing has bees in it. Here's another one over here. Hello, horses. But, you know, I've never seen any bees flying around, but I think the bees have to come out of the bottom of these things. You guys would know for sure. But I think that's the deal. So if we get them over here and we put them in the top of a tree somewhere, let's go like this. We'll break this. Okay. Then we use this. Get our bee house, and then we'll break the thing with the silk touch pick. Not ideal, but we want to make sure that we can use this campfire over and over again. Okay, so there's two bee houses. I have a feeling there's no bees in it, though. <sighs> Which isn't good. We may have to go roaming around to see if we can't find some actual bees. I don't recall ever seeing bees, but maybe they're in there. I mean, that would be awesome. Do you think they'll just magically spawn if they're in there? Okay, we have to go flying around. So let me spend a little bit of time. Actually, you know what? Let's take these back. Let's see if we can't get a tree growing. Let me see. Do we see any more bee houses? That'd be awesome. I mean, I didn't put those that dirt blocks there, so that's how they spawned. Maybe that means they spawned empty. Is that a possibility? I mean, that's a very good possibility. All right, let's go grab ourselves, first of all, from the tree farm. Oh, by the way, since I... 
put a whole field of nether wart out there. I went ahead and tore down our automatic nether wart farm. I mean, I'm not selling nether wart. I'm just using, I think somebody is. Zap, I want to say, might be selling nether wart blocks. And that's fine. We don't need to try to get it in that market. I just wanted enough nether wart so I can never have to worry about it for my potions. And I think we're probably at that point now. So I don't think we have to worry about it too much. Okay, let's get this. I'm trying to remember if, if that trick still works. That might be a Java thing. I don't know. Let's go. Do we have any torches? No. Okay. Let's go down here. Ah! Okay. And we'll grab a couple things. Uh, between the clips, not only did I get all those fields taken care of, I made tons of potions and took them over to the potion shop. The potion shop's completely stocked up. And I even added some new potions like invisibility and some other little odds and ends. I also made a couple extra chests here and st put. I had to empty out shulker boxes. Alright, we're going to get this. Yeah, that'll work. That dirt should be okay. And then we need some bone meal. It's around here somewhere. One of the things I'm going to do between the episodes is finally get... I got to get all this, this chest and stuff out of here. I'm tired of jumping around it. I want to get it all squared away. Uh, what am I doing? I would like to have some more. Okay. All right, let's take this over, and we'll put these down, and maybe we'll get some bees to come out. That would be amazing. We also need to find a better way up and down than climbing up these stairs and then flying. <laughs> I mean, even though flying is not a bad way to go. Okay, so let's see if we can't get in here. In a decent way out. Okay. All right, so if we take... I think right here at this intersection where there seems to be like a lot of real estate. Maybe like right here? If I put this down... All right, so I'm going to have to break this... Put down a regular piece of dirt. Put down this. I don't even know if it'll grow if we try to force it. Here, if I go like so. Alright, well that is that how you do that? I don't even know. to grow like that oh that's not the tree i want all right let me do a little bit of work here i'm gonna try to get a big one a big tree to grow that's definitely not the tree that i was hoping for i gotta figure out how to do that i think maybe you have to you may have to take some of the oh yeah it's kind of janky you may have to take some of the wall apart and figure it out all right let me work on that my goal is to get a big tree and if i can get a big tree i'll bring you guys back on the other side and then we will See if we can't... Hey, can I use my... I don't have it with me. And then we'll see if we can't get these bee nests on the tree and see if we can get bees to come carting out. That'd be amazing. All right, I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, well, I got a tree there, which looks pretty good, and I've got a tree there. I mean, they both look really good, just like regular-sized trees. Um, I wasn't really able to figure out how to grow the great big ones, but I don't think it matters because they look good. Uh, the problem is, is I put both my beehives on there, and there are no bees carting out. So I think what has happened, and maybe you guys can confirm or deny in the comment section down below, that most likely the bees have, like, like they spawned, and then maybe they despawned due to, like, bedrock despawning rules. And the, even though the bee house is still there, the actual bees that inhabit it are long gone. So I'm betting that's the case. So let me know in the comment section if you think that's the way it is as well. And maybe I need to go and find some new chunks and bring some bees back, maybe? But if that's the case, will all bees despawn? Or once you move them, they won't despawn anymore? Do you have to name them? Ooh, that seems kind of crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Man, we did lots of good work today. We uh, have discovered our new best friend, a panda. 
we saw a super amazing crab statue that was built for us. Oh, Dead Crab 73. And we got to work on all of our crazy farms and got them all taken care of looking pretty sweet. I think I'm going to work on that one between the episodes. I'm also going to do some storage work. You know, the stuff that needs to get done that's not necessarily great for videos. And I think next time we really need to start building. Like, we need, to, we need to build a farmhouse, we need to get some stuff going on over there on that hill, I think, in preparation for getting this base looking amazing. So until then, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my Truly Bedrock Let's Play series, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.